Compasses are interesting devices, but how do they work? Let's take a closer look. Here you see a wet compass made using simple materials. By rubbing a magnet 30 or 40 times against a needle, the needle becomes magnetized and will point toward the North Pole. The reason a compass works is because, just like a permanent magnet, all of the electrical charges in the needle line up in the same way, which increases the force of magnetism on the needle. The magnetized needle is light enough and balanced enough to be sensitive to Earth's magnetic fields that surround us every day. A magnetic field can be present in the area around an electric charge or the area that surrounds a magnet. It can cover an area too small to see or an area so big that it spans a galaxy. Either way, it's an area where a magnetic force is present. It's possible to see the shape of a magnetic field using some iron filings, magnets, and a piece of paper. The Earth is a very large magnet. Just like all magnets, it has a north and south pole. The magnetic field around the Earth protects us from the powerful solar winds of the sun that would otherwise strip away the ozone layer that protects us from harmful radiation. A compass is designed to interact with the magnetic field of the Earth. The magnetized needle lines up with Earth's invisible magnetic fields. Since opposite poles attract, the north-seeking magnetic pole of the compass needle is oppositely charged with the north magnetic pole of the Earth. The compass was invented over 2,000 years ago and began being used for navigation just under 1,000 years ago. Many improvements have been made to compass navigation over the years for both water and on land. Today's compasses have numbers from 0 to 360 degrees to represent all of the degrees in a circle. Say you want to travel a short distance in a near northwest direction with a basic compass and degrees as your guide. First, set your compass so that the north needle and zero degrees line up. Now, look in the direction of, say, 320 degrees northwest and locate a tree, landform, or other object on the horizon while keeping the north needle at zero degrees. Now, walk in that direction for the distance you need, then repeat this process when you need to change your direction. So there you go. You are now able to navigate with a compass.